Greetings. Welcome back to the Art of F.A. Checking. And man, I've been out gardening today, so I'm looking a little, little, I'm looking a little disheveled. Probably fix my hat. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Art of F.A. Checky on F.A. TV. Um, thank you all for all, all the subscriptions, watching, sharing, all the comments. Um, not a whole lot of comments. I'd like some more if you can give me some more. But I definitely could use some uh, views, subscriptions, all the, the everything on the list. Comments, likes, shares, subscriptions, the whole shebang. And if you do that, you get to see more fun stuff with me, F.A., and my art. And my family stuff, and my my house, and all the crazy nonsense that I'm into, except for I do take my art very seriously. But today, we're gonna take it down to something a little less serious, and uh, do something more craft arty, uh, pop art. Um, acrylic pouring looks like a ton of fun, so I'm gonna do it. My wife wanted a piece uh, for the bedroom, and so naturally, you gotta deliver on this. Uh, project fairly large canvas not sure you can see it but it's big <laughs> look at that weird angle anyway um pretty big canvas about a 30 by 40 uh we got some uh, acrylic paint some uh, black to make some gray but it's going to be gray mostly white and some blue i don't think we'll put any direct black in it because the the design she wants more in the gray blue white tone but at any rate, uh, you know, this is fun to do. Art in, um, in general is fun to do, but acrylic pouring looks like a ton of fun. So I thought I'd do it for her, do something different, do a short video, nothing too long. But just here in my intro, reminding you again um, of how appreciative I am of everybody who supported me on the YouTube channel, uh, FATV, uh, that's been going now a few months. We're still a startup channel. Uh, in many ways, but we've exceeded, we yeah, we've exceeded a thousand uh, subscribers. We're at about 1,150, so thank you everybody for subscribing. That's awesome. Uh, get your friends involved. Uh, your kids will love watching this episode. If, if you're more in the younger audience, kids seem to love just making messes. So this is a chance to make mess, make a huge mess with paint, but in an artful way. <laughs> what could be better than that? But anyway, um, this uh, is a piece that we'll do, uh, you know, just uh, some explanation on, uh, and then we'll just do a little time lapse, and then we'll just end it with a finale, probably like an all-together 10-minute video. Uh, so, again, uh, I, I really have a lot of fun doing what I normally do, but this is something totally different for me. I've never done an art porn, but I see it all over the internet. So, yeah, I'm a copycat. Yeah, I'm a, a trend follower, but why not? I, I, it came about fortuitously because my wife wanted something that just happened to be so fitting with a acrylic uh, paint pour. So we're going to do an acrylic paint pour. Have fun doing it. And uh, if you saw my last episode, you would have uh, seen the, the little um, Alan Watts narrative to uh, the name of the painting was Omega Rising. And uh, the uh, fantasy surreal is still going on. We're still continuing with the series. We'll be doing another one here soon, but I gotta do a little dog painting as well. Uh, but first I gotta take care of my wife and then I gotta take care of a good um, connection I have on Facebook. She wanted a, a painting of her dog that's deceased. Um, unfortunately, mom-in-law uh, didn't think the other dog looked close enough to her dog. So I don't know if she even wants it, but it was fun painting it. Oh well, sometimes you can't make everybody happy and it was free, so you can't be. <laughs> You can't be disappointed with free. I mean, I may have painted it for you. The dog's standing up, Denise. The, the, the dog is standing. That's why the proportions look weird because I have, uh, I wanted him to look like he was kind of standing or flying in the air because he's dead. He's going to heaven. So anyway, you, probably, you might have seen the piece. And maybe you agree. Maybe you agree with my uh, mom, mom-in-law. But you can see right here uh, the dog I did and, uh, <laughs> he's on his hind legs. He's standing up. He's like on your lap, kind of. You're taking a picture of him when he's on your lap. But I, I just think she lost the dog, and she just wanted something very precisely a, a certain way that she wanted, and maybe I needed to talk to her more, and that's a good tip 
Good tip for all artists when you're painting. This one was free for my, my mother-in-law. But always ask your customer when you're doing a commission, what exactly do you want? Give me the exact picture. How do you want to look? Do you want to look exactly like the picture? Or do you want me to do my interpretation of the picture? So, little art tip there. Uh, there's no hacks here, nothing big here that I'm doing, but I already, I already mixed up the gray, as you can see right here. Um, and then we have the blue ready to go and the white. We're just gonna, we're gonna have a ton of fun. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I got Matthew in here with me, and uh, I think we're just going to name this guy, what, Lava Man? I don't even know what to call this. It looks like Captain Marvel. It's like some super, this spray paint thing I did today is like almost like like in a Marvel comic. Like, he, he can't see, but he uses his mind powers, and he melts things around him, and he's, I don't know. It just, I don't even know. You comment. You tell me. Anyway, <laughs> woo! Oh boy, um, put this over here. The uh, art pouring thing. Oh my god, kind of fun. I I could definitely see how some people enjoy that, but it's super messy, and uh, I have a kid with a headache. Oh my God! I feel bad. I better. I better end this quick. I just want to say, uh, because I got to tend to my son. And poor boy has a headache. Um, he was going to sit in here with me and talk at the end, but I just ask that you uh, appreciate art in whichever way you can. If you like art, doing art the way you like to do art, do the art the way you like to do it. Acrylic pouring can be fun. Maybe he'll show up. Maybe he'll show up. He's not feeling great today. Poor boy. Got a headache. Um, acrylic pouring, he loved it. He wants, if, if his mom doesn't want that acrylic pouring painting, he'll put it in his room. You liked it, Matthew? Yeah, because it's my Why? favorite. Why? It was my favorite colors. Because you like the, he likes the color. Matthew's a big blue and gray and, and, white. and, and, and white combo. Uh oh. And then another child's coming. <laughs> I love how the kids come at the end. Of, oh, look at Matthew being helpful. He's my technical director, so naturally he's helping. Um, so, just a pointer, uh, you need a lot of paint, like a bucket of paint to really, that was a 30 by 40 canvas. We had little pints of paint, definitely wasn't enough, so we used the knife, uh, a little bit of knife work on there, no big deal, just use the painter's knife. It kind of made for a neat pattern around where we poured most of the paint, but there was no way we were going to glaze that whole thing by pouring paint on there. We needed literally a lot more. I didn't think we needed quite that much. Uh, I thought it would kind of spread around. So just a little pointer. There was a little bit of a fail there, but at the end, Matthew liked the pattern. If somebody likes the art, that's what it's all about. Just keep making art. I think it was Andy Warhol who said, it, it doesn't matter uh, whether you think it's good or not, or uh, just, you know, let, let the people decide whether it's good or not and just keep making art. Paraphrasing, that's not exactly what he said, but <laughs> Matthew kind of looks a little bit like Andy Warhol, I think, if he had white hair. He, Andy Warhol is cool. I really love Andy Warhol. Uh, pop artist. And I, and I think acrylic pouring is a form of pop art. Uh, it's craft art, pop art. I mean, it's popular. It's, it's, it's something that's in the, in the mainstream. And, um, you know, people will put them up on their walls, wall art. Uh, but that's kind of the trend since the 50s is a lot of stuff is just wall art. It's pop art, craft art. Um, some a wall art or craft art could be done by an amazing craftsperson. 
Because they couldn't afford that much paper back right. then. Lithograph, uh, printing, uh, making things that people want to hang up. And, and it's mainstream. It's everywhere. You see it on everybody's wall. Uh, nowadays, it's like cool to hang a print of Van Gogh or, or a Matisse or, or a Monet or whatever impression is. Um, some people like to have... Uh, Albert Einstein? Mm -hmm, Picasso's or... Albert Einstein, didn't, I don't know, maybe he painted, but I don't know if he did. If he did, I didn't see an Albert Einstein painting. It'd probably be super valuable just because he was super famous. I think he did paint, didn't he? No, I know he drew something. I know what he had some drawings. That was on your shirt, that, the guy that was. Yeah, that was, Al, that was Albert Einstein on the one. The, oh, he's going like this? <laughs> anyway, um, please like, please subscribe, please um share uh, if you can uh on your page or comment. Uh, yeah comment what else we got what else we need people so, well subscriptions are what get us more views but views are what in the end get us to monetization and if we get too good um if people don't like your paint keep doing it no right what. right it doesn't matter just keep painting just keep painting uh but going back to what i was saying if we get to a monetization point where we have you know, thousands and thousands of views. People want to put commercials on our videos. 50% is going to go to charity. And how we're going to prove that, what we're going to do once we get to monetization is I will take a, a month worth of ad revenue off, off the video or whichever videos. Um, and I will cut a check and I'll show you all a copy of check. Um, if it's the elephant video, it's going to go to an elephant related charity. If it's one of the ones that's related to art, uh, like my one where I talk about the Notre, Notre Dame fire, um, that would, for instance, go to uh, some type of art restoration. You know, uh, others would just go to the arts. Uh, per, Africa. Yeah, you, and, and some would just be like helping people in third world countries that need uh, assistance. Uh, Water people that don't live as well as we do. Uh, even charities here in the United States for the poor, the needy. So we would show the check at the end of each month when the monetization checks come in. I'll, I'll do a special episode. I'll, I'll I'll take a picture of me with the check. Um, I'll provide the contacts and the credits. You can always check and make sure because this type of YouTube programming I think is a little bit unique in that um, most YouTube channel I've hardly seen a YouTube channel say, "Oh yeah, we're gonna do this for helping people." You know, now I I, I I I'm not trying to knock other YouTubers at all, but I think they pretty much keep the money for themselves and maybe they donate some to charity too. I don't know, but they aren't dedicated. I don't see a dedicated unspeakable donate. Oh, good. Cool. Well, I don't see a dedicated channel where people are like, we're going to donate. We're going to give money. Um, that's what this is all about in the end. I, I've recrafted the show after we started to say, um, we don't need all the money to live on. Uh, this is about doing our art, about having fun, living life, making videos, sharing, vlogging, and then, getting the uh ad rev going ad revenue and, and whatever sales from the videos and we give out to someone we give it back we will be giving it back and i think it was carnegie that said if you want to be successful in life there's something that you must do and you write down on a piece of paper write down on a piece of paper somewhere in exchange for your success what are you going to give back for it because the universe gave you something and you need to karmatically give it back well we're going to karmatically give back and I want you to uh, be a part of that. And if you can help us, awesome. So ending, uh, be the artist you were born to be or be the person you were born to be, meaning follow your fate, follow your destiny, do what makes you feel fulfilled in life because life is short. Play hard, paint hard. Right, Matthew? I'm not a painter, you are. Okay, but you, you play hard. <laughs> right? Okay. Bye, everybody. We'll see you next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye. Bye.